Today I'm going to be covering Quake 1 running on a Silicon Graphics Indigo 2 R4000 machine. Before I get on with the video, I'm quickly going to show you the machine's HI and V just to show you what hardware is being used. Okay, so the machine is equipped with a single 150 MHz IP22 CPU and that is a MIPS R4400. It has 192 megabytes of RAM. It's equipped with two hard drives and the graphics board is the GU1 Extreme, so it's got Extreme graphics fitted. I originally had RX version 6.5.11 Foxtrot installed on this machine and Quake used to run perfectly well in this version of IRX. However, I was unable to install a custom desktop background in version 6.5.11, so yesterday I went through the lengthy process of installing 6.5.22 on the machine, which is the latest version of IRX which will run on a Indigo 2 R4000, in order to enable me to set up this custom desktop background which I now have set up. However, when I tried to run Quake, this is what I got. Okay, so this appears to be a mess. The game is certainly not playable in this format. And what I've attributed this to is the fact that the desktop is now running in a 24-bit color mode, enabling the custom desktop background. So what I'm going to be discussing in this video is a procedure to quickly switch between the custom desktop background with a 24-bit color mode and the default color mode enabling you to play this game on this machine. To allow me to quickly switch between the new 24-bit color mode and the standard color mode for the desktop, I have placed a reference of my XDM folder on my desktop. I'm quickly going to show you where to find this folder. So I'm going to go into Unix root, go into user, go into lib, go into x11, and within this folder you find the XDM folder. I'm quickly going to open this up as well. Um, within the XDM folder you find the X servers file. I'm quickly going to open this file up. What I've done with this file is I've modified it to have two lines and the line which I want to disable I just insert a hash before the line and this should I say disables that line from being read. So at the moment it's being run in a 24-bit true color mode so if I wanted to run in the standard color mode I'm quickly going to place a hash in front of this line and then I'll remove the hash from the secondary line and save the file. However, there are two possibilities here. You can either reboot the machine in order to get the X server to load the standard color format or I can just restart the X server. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go into the console and cd into the following directory. Okay, so I've cd'd into user and then gfx and then in order to switch off the graphics, I'm quickly going to type in the command stop graphics. So it's dot forward slash stop gfx. Okay, now that the graphics are stopped, it takes me straight to a console. It's going to wait for it to log up properly. Okay, so it's already in root. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to CD back into that directory. Okay, so I'm back into user and the GFX directory. And now I type in dot forward slash start GFX. Okay, I'm quickly going to log in as root again. Now 
This machine does take quite a while to load. Okay, so the desktop is now loaded again. And what you notice now is the fact that it doesn't have the custom desktop background anymore. And this is because it's running in the default color mode. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to run Quake. Okay, and as you can see, now it's running absolutely perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to stop the game here. And then I'm going to go back into XDM. Go back to X servers. Okay, now I'm going to enable the 24-bit color mode again by saving the file. Going into the console. And CDing back into the GFX directory. Okay, I typed in stop GFX. Okay, and I'm going to CD back into the GFX directory. And then type in dot forward slash start GFX. Log in as root again, and this should bring it back in a 24-bit color mode with my custom desktop background. Okay, and there it is. It's going to wait for it to load completely. So, say this is a rather slow machine. Okay, so in this video, I've just shown you how to switch rather quickly and easily between a 24-bit color mode and a default color mode enabling you to run games such as Quake 1 in a software mode on a Silicon Graphics Indigo R4000 machine running IRIC 6.5.22. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it to be informative. Thanks for watching.